In Lincoln's wallet the night he died was a compartment that read notes. Inside were eight newspaper clippings that had never before been transcribed, but I think they offer real insight into Lincoln's state of mind at the time. These were clippings that were carefully preserved for constant reference. And I think they offer great insight into the fact that he thirsted to feel that he could be vindicated in the eyes of his countrymen. And these clippings provided some evidence of that. For example, two of them were letters from Confederate soldiers reprinted in Union newspapers, showing that his emancipation strategy had succeeded in turning the tide of the war, which essentially was enormously influenced by the presence of 180,000 black American soldiers in Union uniforms that destroyed the South's resolve at a time when their resources were seriously declining. That there was a push against the leadership of the South, which had led the South into war. There were clippings that offered vindication of his leadership style from a British statesman uh, that he greatly admired named John Bright, leader of the Liberal Party. A uh, Shakespearean actor he'd written a, a letter to that commented upon how Lincoln's favorite plays by Shakespeare itself were a great library of leadership. And you can just see in these letters that even though he was a man who bore a great burden, that in his private moments, he took great solace in being vindicated in the eyes of his fellow countrymen. And it's one of the details that I think makes Lincoln fully human again. Part of the project of this book, and I think all great history, is to take people off the pedestals, in part because it makes them more interesting and it makes their wisdom and the lessons of their life far more accessible.